What is up Cobra Kai fans? Welcome back to a brand new video where we're going to be counting down the four things to expect from Robbie Keane in Cobra Kai Season 5. Real quick before we get started, if this is your first time being here with us and you love Cobra Kai and Karate Kid, consider joining our dojo today by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turning on all notifications so you never miss a new upload. Without wasting any more time, let's get started with this list. Getting the most obvious aspects of Robbie's journey in Season 5 out of the way, there's been a physical proof in pictures from filming in Puerto Rico that shows Robbie's whereabouts. He's clearly with his father Johnny in his pursuit to rescue Miguel and bring him home. What I find really interesting about this is that this is something that was teased all the way back in Season 1 between Johnny and Robbie, and that is a father-son trip together between the two. Even though this isn't the ideal trip for them and it's not for pleasure, definitely, the time with them being spent together can only further strengthen their newfound bond for each other, and once Miguel is located and reunited with Johnny, that may complicate things just a bit like it has in the past, but luckily I think it's only going to be a brief problem. I'll touch on this a little more later on in the video, but Robbie will finally get what he's always wanted time spent with his dad. And now that they've finally found common ground with one another, it's only going to move their father-son relationship closer and to the right direction. They may face problems along the way like any relationship, but this time it's going to be different than any problem they've ever encountered because they'll have each other to work through them. The final episode of season 4 was a big revelation for Robbie. He had come to realize that getting back at Miguel, Johnny, and Sam through joining the Cobra Kai dojo was not the answer. And what made him realize this was when he saw Kenny. It was like looking back into a mirror on himself. And that was the tipping point that made him realize that everything he was doing was not going to make things better. He also saw in the way that Silver was treating him at the tournament and didn't approve of him as a sensei as well. And just like I mentioned previously, Johnny's going to be leaving for Mexico right off the bat in Season 5, and Robbie's going to be accompanying him, I believe. So now that Robbie's on good terms with his dad, he's not going to feel the want or the need to be in Cobra Kai anymore. Because that was the main fuel for him training with Daniel and then joining the Cobra Kai dojo. It was more of like a rebellious type thing and he was just trying to get back at his dad. As for how specifically Robbie's going to be leaving the Cobra Kai dojo, I could see one of three things happening. One, he'll leave willingly and people will know about it. Two, because he disobeyed an order at the tournament, Silver may just kick him out. Or number three, he'll just vanish without telling anybody. Maybe Tori, that's, but that's it. And I'm personally thinking that he's just going to be leaving without telling anyone except Tori. I'm not sure about Kenny though, that's going to be a good question. And just this in and of itself is going to be a very interesting plot point in season five. Like how is Kenny going to react to Robbie leaving Cobra Kai? I don't think he's going to be too happy about it, especially since Silver isn't too fond of Robbie now. I think he's going to be filling Kenny's head with lies to make him angry with Robbie, and that's really going to put a damper on their relationship. But anyways, I think it's safe to assume that Robbie's definitely not going to be a part of Cobra Kai in the fifth season. The way I see it, the fifth season of Cobra Kai is going to have a select few characters taking a break from being a part of a dojo. People like Johnny, Robbie, and Miguel, since, you know, they're away from their dojos in the Karate War. But once the whole Mexico storyline is concluded and they're all back in the valley, it's, I think it's definitely likely that Robbie's going to either rejoin Miyagi-Do with Daniel, and now Chosen, or he'll choose to be with his father in Eagle Fang if he chooses to reopen it. It's definitely a tough choice as to which one he's going to be joining, but I'm seriously thinking he's going to be taking part in Eagle Fang so he can just be closer with his dad since they're finally on good terms now. But that doesn't mean he's not going to be getting back on good terms with Daniel. I definitely think that's happening. But I really I basically just can't see Robbie rejoining Miyagi-Do after all that's happened. But I would like to see both students from both dojos interacting still and training with one another on occasion. It's like Jacob says, Robbie has the blood of a Cobra, but the heart of a Miyagi-Do, which makes him a perfect blend of Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do in my opinion. But that exactly leads into my next point as to why Eagle Fang is the perfect blend of the two for Robbie and the perfect dojo for him. Yes, there it is, right here. This is what we've all been waiting for since season one of this show. We finally got Robbie and Johnny reuniting and burying the hatchet in season four, but there's still more work to be done. It's time for Robbie to apologize to Miguel for all that he's done to him and vice versa. This so-called beef, rivalry, whatever you want to call it, it's gone on for long enough and is primarily pettiness at this point. Their beef all really started over Sam and Johnny, and now that Sam is with Miguel again and Robbie is back together with Johnny, there really isn't much to fight about anymore. The only thing really left to do is for the two to grow up, 
humble themselves, and apologize to one another. They both have the opportunity to do what took Daniel and Johnny 30 plus years to do, and that's bury the hatchet on their rivalry for good. There's a bigger threat at hand in Terry Silver, and they're on the same side now. Relish in it and stand together. One thing I can guarantee is that this moment of when they finally come together, it's going to be one of the highlights of the entire series. Robbie Keane is by far one of my favorite characters, and although he does have some flaws and imperfections, it's never too late to turn a new leaf and change like all the current characters have. But with that being said guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments section what are you expecting to see from Robbie Keane in Cobra Kai Season 5. And be sure to let me know in the comments section what character you want to see me do next. You know what to do next. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and make sure you're subscribed to Strike First Media if you want more Cobra Kai and Karate Kid content just like this. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.